Yes, we are here with author uh, Tim Chapman, uh, who is a very interesting uh, guy. He started out as a uh, advertising writer. That was your first career, mm -hmm. right? And then you said, oh, I'm kind of bored with this. I want to go into police forensic science. What a, a big transition there. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you said, you know, I think I want to go back into writing, right? And that's when mm -hmm. you got into the mystery writing. I did, and I um, went back to school to learn to write mm -hmm. um, because writing advertising copy, as you know, is certainly different from writing fiction. Yes, right. Um, yeah, and uh, you also teach uh, writing, and you mm -hmm. also teach Tai Chi. Um, <clears throat> and in between all that, uh, the work that you do as a writer and a teacher, you also have some time to uh, watch PBS once I in do, a while, indeed, right? I do, indeed, yes. What, what are your favorite shows? I'm, I'm a big fan of both of the um, BBC Sherlock Holmes series, the uh -huh. new one with um, Benedict Cumberbatch, and right. the older one with, I think Jeremy Brett was the name of the actor. Okay. Um, uh, is, is Sherlock Holmes like, uh, you know, among mystery writers, is that, is that kind of like, a, uh, besides Agatha Christie, is that kind of like mm -hmm. uh, the, the Cadillac of, of uh, mystery shows out there? Absolutely, and, and especially the writing itself. I mean, Conan Doyle created a character that is really bizarre, quirky, mm -hmm. and um, also intelligent. Yeah. Um, you know, he was probably in, in fiction one of the first forensic scientists. Yeah, uh, Shelley uh, just mentioned some of the great programming that we have here on this station. What are, what are some of your other favorite shows besides the mysteries? I, I like the interview shows. I watch Charlie Rose. I watch mm -hmm. Tavis Smiley. I was kind of hoping we would be in Tavis Smiley's set, but he uh, obviously shoots someplace he's, else. Yeah, he's I'm not here. Sorry. Um, and then on, on Saturday and Sunday, when my wife and I are working around the house, sometimes we'll take a break for lunch and watch either a cooking show or home repair program right, or something like right. that. Right, I love the home repair shows. I, you know, I, I love watching those guys with the tools and everything, fixing stuff up. And mm -hmm. So uh, let's pretend now that uh, the, the, the audience are your students, your writing students. What, it, what is one nugget of uh, wisdom you'd want to pass on to our viewers right now if they are aspiring to be a, a mystery writer or just a writer in general? Well, especially if you're aspiring to be a mystery writer, read as much as possible and mm -hmm. also read uh, stories by people who aren't traditional mystery writers. I think that the two, in my opinion, the two best crime stories ever written are Where Are You Going, Where Have You Been by Joyce Carol Oates okay. and A Good Man is Hard to Find by Flannery O'Connor. Not people you would normally think of as right. mystery authors, but they're great crime stories. Um, they develop character, and okay. I think character development is the key. All right, so read a lot. Sounds, sounds yeah, like a absolutely. good advice for almost anything you do in life. All right, thank you, Tim Chapman, for being well, on the program. Well, thank you for having me. This has been tonight. great.